seven positions uh, uh, further on. I would also say Papi has uh, been the one that's benefited well here. That was that's a replay of Rocky. That's Rocky. All over off. the curbs, way out wide, coming out of the final turn, over the grass, and then Papi coming through as a result of that while we had the, uh, the pit stop. Now he's lining up a move on Gary Papi here, the BMW, the bright yellow BMW versus uh, Gary Papi's Mercedes. And Gary now is having to go on the defensive here as Timo Glock draws alongside the team RMR. BMW gets a better run coming out of the corner. More traction on his anchor tyres alongside now. He'll have the better line for the corner coming up when they eventually get there. And it should be past done. Gary Papin's not going to make life easy. But pulled the rest of just behind them as well. But Timo should be there. And through he goes, squeezing through ahead of Gary. So you know what? It's close. Ooh, it is close. Maxime Martin is going to have more grip though. The tyres are up to temperature. Mike Rockenfeller might have a bit of a harder job here. So, chance there for you, Rocky, to get through. Oh, Mortari's got to commit to this. He does commit to it. Comes all the way around the outside, but hogging the inside line here is Edo Mortari. But look how the car squirms around as he gets on the accelerator. Can't hold that horsepower with cold tyres, and so he slips back behind the uh, Rockenfeller. Damage on the left rear. Uh, it's unfortunate for Wickens, but uh, you know these cars are so easily damaged when you do have contact like that. Now, will Muller move over to allow Eki into what would effectively be second place when all the pit stops are done? The answer is going to be yes. yes. He is, and perfect place to do it because neither of them will really. Oh. Eki going to have a go for the lead here. He's yes. used DRS. He goes down the inside. Green pretty much he keeps the door open, plays it, you know, plays the team game. As we get the replay of the move, 